And now that we've built our fully working Hacker News clone, there's just one last step and that's to deploy it to production. To do this, we're going to use GitHub Pages, which allows you to host static websites through your GitHub for free. So this is a great option since we're using an external API, we don't have a server, and all, we'll, all we will have is our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So first, if you haven't already, go ahead and create a Hacker News clone repository in your GitHub. Let's set our remote branch and push master with all of our code. And now we can install the GH Pages module. And what GH Pages does is it allows you to deploy no projects uh, to your GitHub pages through the terminal. So it makes it super easy, super fast. Return to your package.json. And for GH Pages to work, you need a home page to deploy it. And in this case, it will just be your HTTP, your GitHub username, .github, .io, slash the repository name. We will also need to add some additional scripts. One is pre-deploy, which uh, GitHub pages will run every time before it deploys, and we'll just put our build step here. And then we will have a deploy script. And this will just be gh pages deploy directory build. So let's do that now. And while we wait, another thing we can do is display our project on Git Connected. And if you don't know what Git Connected is, is it, uh, an online developer community. It has tutorials, it has news for developers, and it also gives you the option to display your projects and your portfolio. So let's go to projects and I already have one for our Hacker News clone. Um, a lot of this autofills, um, you can add a summary description, add some images, add the technology you use to show off uh, what you've learned. And then finally, it will display like this. And it looks like our uh, GH pages has deployed. Let's take a look. And there we go, just had to take a second and we have our code. And now your app is in production, congratulations.